a very good afternoon so in the previous class we discussed about uh, introduction about the tribology and definition of tribology then what are a uh, historical background of tribology and also we discussed some of the important points about tribology so today we are going to discuss a one interesting a concept or content it is called viscosity the viscosity play a vital role in our tribological solution so for that we should know what is viscosity and what are its properties and how it is going to change with respect to the some of the parameters like temperature and pressure that is what we are going to discuss in our today's class first thing what is meant by tribology sorry what is meant by viscosity so viscosity we can define as it is a ability of a liquid to resist a change in the shape it is a ability of a liquid to resist against to the change in the shape this resistance is just due to because of internal friction and a molecular phenomena after this frictional resistance okay after this frictional resistance is going to convert as a heat which rise the temperature of the lubricant and the part which are surrounded by the lubricant it is called a viscosity viscosity means it is a ability of a liquid which is resist against to the change in the shape and this resi uh, resistance is comes from just because of internal friction and molecular phenomena because of the molecular phenomena and internal resistance it will create the resistance against to the change in the shape just like a stress so stress na ek define martivi stress is a internal resistance against to the applied load okay so load apply madadaga that load change the the deformation of the object and it is a protect or it is somewhat resisted by the internal resistance of that object adhe tara when the liquid is there if you want if you are going to apply some load load means maybe a point load or maybe temperature whatever it may be you are going to apply some load okay that load has to create the deformation but somewhat it is predicted by internal resistance offered by that liquid only up to the certain extent okay if the load is uh, more than the uh, fracture whatever the ultimate load obviously it will cause the deformation but certain extent it will offer resistance that resistance is just due to because of a internal friction and molecular phenomena and this a friction is directly converted into as a form of heat between the two surfaces okay it will directly converted into heat and that heat start dissipating into the parts which are surrounded by the uh, that lubricant or that surface okay and ultimately if the temperature keep on rising it may loses the property of a material and finally leads to the fracture that we have to that we have to avoid by using a proper viscosity in the lubricants arta kide concept here the viscosity of the lubricant is directly proportional to the load carrying capacity of the fluid flow means whatever the viscosity is there it is directly proportional to the load carrying capacity of the fluid film means that lubricant or the layer of the lubrication or lubricant so the load carrying capacity of that fluid or that a layer is directly depends on the viscosity 
if more viscosity more will be the load carrying capacity that i will explain in the next class hydrodynamic how it is directly depends and how it is directly increasing at the same time the frictional resistance and the accompanying heat generated in the bearing is increases if the viscosity of the lubricant increases means it is not only increase the load carrying capacity it is also increase the friction and heat generation in the lubricants if the viscosity increases friction also increases if the friction increases it will increase the heat generation okay therefore the proper selection of viscosity for the particular bearing or particular two mating surfaces is very important factor the proper selection of viscosity we, we cannot high viscosity liquid or low viscosity liquid we should select a viscosity with respect to the operating conditions based on the operating conditions we have to select the select the viscosity of the lubricant next uh, we know that viscosity is a function of temperature as well as pressure and density means it will change with respect to the temperature it will change with respect to the pressure as well as density if the density or a pressure or a temperature changes obviously viscosity of the lubricant it also changes it is not constant viscosity of a lubricant at a some particular temperature is 20 centipoise it is not may not same in the 30 or 40 degree temperature okay some viscosity of a liquid at an at an 20 degree centigrade the viscosity of that lubricant is uh, 20 centipoise let us take an example 20 centipoise but if i increase the temperature from 20 to 30 the viscosity may not same it may be increase or it may be decrease that is what we are going to discuss here okay first first thing is viscosity versus temperature if i increase the temperature or if i decrease the temperature what about the viscosity whether the viscosity is going to change or whether viscosity going to increase or decrease first the viscosity of the liquid a lubricant is a function of temperature the viscosity of lubricating oil decreases with increase in the temperature if we increase the temperature the viscosity of the lubricant going to decrease you can observe in the graph in all the graph if the temperature increases the absolute viscosity of the lubricant going to decrease not okay. at a temperature uh, 100 fahrenheit the vis the viscosity is very high means 4 5 6 so say 10 20 30 is a grade of oil different grades of oil okay so in the low temperature the viscosity is very high if i keep on increasing 100 to 120 140 160 180 like 200 if i increase the viscosity going to decrease see you, you can observe in the all the grades of oil the oil grades okay it's a sa 20 sa 60 sa 50 like this the temp the viscosity is very high in the low temperature if i keep on increasing the temperature the viscosity going to reduce okay the graph going to go down means in decreasing decreasing means viscosity decreasing with increase in the temperature the change of viscosity due to change of temperature it is different in the different oils i already told that it is not may not same for all the oils or for all the temperatures it is different for different temperature at a different temperatures okay this is what viscosity index that we will discuss in the later second thing influence of pressure on viscosity means if i temperature okay if i increase the temperature viscosity decreases if i reduce the temperature viscosity increases it is vice versa we discussed first thing second thing same like a temperature we have to discuss about influence of pressure 
if i increase or decrease the pressure what about the viscosity the viscosity and density of the liquid increases with increase in the pressure the viscosity and density of the liquid increase with increase in the pressure it is just opposite to the temperature temperature in case of temperature if i increase viscosity decreases but here if i increase the pressure at the same time it is also increase the viscosity as well as density the rate of increase of density of all as usual the type of liquid lubricants is roughly 1% for each 200 atoms of the pressure means if i increase 200 atom of pressure then it is increased roughly by 1% not a uh, drastic it's a light changes light increase in the pressure except water the exception water because in the water if you increase the pressure or decrease the pressure it won't change the viscosity the viscosity decreases with increase in the pressure at a temperature 20 centigrade and the pressure below 1000 atoms the viscosity of the lubricant oil increase with pressure implementing slowly a low pressure at a high and high pressure see you can see in this graph in the graph here the absolute viscosity with respect to the pressure if i increase the pressure 500 atoms 1000 atoms 1500 2000 2000 500 like this if i increase it is also increase the viscosity with 1 2 3 so in the beginning it is very low when i increase start increase the pressure it will increase the viscosity but exception water is exception it won't it is constant you can observe in this graph okay artha hai ka so here uh, in the exam they may ask define viscosity and also explain viscosity versus pressure or viscosity versus temperature or explain the function of temperature and pressure with respect to the viscosity it's the most common question okay so next thing viscosity index what is meant by viscosity index it is also important concept it is comes under the viscosity it is also probable questions you may expect in the exam so it was stated that the two oils having the same viscosity at a one particular temperature may have different viscosities at an another temperature in order to indicate the effect of temperature change of the viscosity of an oil the viscosity index is used vi means viscosity index and there the two oils yerdu oil having an same viscosity at an one particular temperature some xyz particular temperature two oils having a same viscosity if i change the temperature next day another the, the two viscosities of the oil first one temperature same it but if i change the temperature it may not same it is going to change a effect na na kandidiyadu by using this viscosity index by using viscosity index we can we can analyze the it change change of viscosity with respect to the change in the temperature a one viscosity of an oil is maximum at one temperature and at the same temperature another oil may having low viscosity so that is what viscosity index viscosity index shows the effect of temperature on the viscosity okay so viscosity index is in just a arbitrary number it is an arbitrary number a low viscosity index signifies relatively a large change of viscosity with change of temperature of an oil a high viscosity index relatively smaller change and there kelo and oil low having a high viscosity index so high viscosity index and there if change a very high temperature so temperature jaasti madidru viscosity a slight change agutte but some of the liquids having a low viscosity index a low viscosity index it comes and if the oil having a low viscosity index then the oils are very sensitive 
if you change one temperature it may change viscosity drastically high viscosity index it can come if you change large temperature it will change very small quantity of viscosity so 0 to 100 it's the number from 0 to 100 0 indicates a low viscosity index 100 indicates very high viscosity index so high viscosity index and very less effect with the temperature a low viscosity is zero and there, very highly sensitive. If you change a very small temperature, it will change the very largely viscosity index. To determine viscosity index, we are using this beehive formula. L minus U divided by L minus H into 100. It is a common formula what we are using to find out the viscosity index of oil. Here U indicates viscosity at 100 Fahrenheit of an oil whose viscosity index is to be calculated. And the U and oil in the viscosity index now calculate now. Next L is the viscosity of at an 100 Fahrenheit of an oil of zero viscosity. And the L and zero viscosity and the very highly sensitive. H is the viscosity of an oil of same 100 Fahrenheit and whose viscosity is 100 viscosity index. And the H and very highly Viscosity index number and very less sensitive. L and so low viscosity index is 0, it is having a very highly sensitive. So between these two high and low, we are going to find out the U. U is the oil which we have to find out the viscosity index. And the best number there. So 0 to 100 is for the maybe 40, 30, 23, 25, like this. That we have to find out. See, so this is a, a graph which explains the viscosity index. So here temperature is in terms of Fahrenheit, viscosity index that is 0, 50 and 100. See here that is 210 Fahrenheit approximately 98.88 temperature centigrade. So at this point all, all the three liquids having a same viscosity index, all the three all the three liquid H, L, U. So the three different liquids, okay, and the same viscosity index at 210 Fahrenheit. Clear? Next, if I change the Fahrenheit, okay, if I change the temperature, see at an 100 Fahrenheit, these three having a different viscosity index. The first one, H having an 100 viscosity index and 0 is an L viscosity index and U that is what we are going to find out the viscosity index. It is approximately 50. Like this we have to find out the viscosity index of U. U is the unknown oil having an unknown viscosity index. H is the known oil, L is the known oil having a known viscosity index 0 as well as 100. And this H, U that is what we are going to find out. These are the two standards must be chosen that the viscosity index and the viscosity of the oil whose viscosity index is to be determined is the same at the temperature of 210 Fahrenheit. That is what is shown in the graph. Clear? And the next uh, last concept is that is what we, are, what we discussed about absolute viscosity. Next is kinematic viscosity. Kinematic viscosity is defined as the ratio between the dynamic viscosity and the density. It is a dynamic or absolute viscosity to the density. It is called kinematic viscosity. Kinematic viscosity is the ratio of absolute viscosity that is mu divided by density rho. It is gives the what? Kinematic viscosity. Kinematic viscosity it is uh, commonly expressed in terms of stroke. One stroke is equal to 10 to minus 4 meter square per second. That is the unit of kinematic viscosity. But in our tribology, we commonly used absolute viscosity. Okay. Absolute viscosity, that is what the viscosity. So it is expressed in a unit is called centipoise. So one centipoise is equal to 10 to minus 2. Pascal second. Okay, that I will explain in the while solving the problems.